Okay, so uh, I was asked a question along the lines of um, it's in the context of having a um, uh, confrontation or an, or an angry conversation with someone and then having a charge and then the thing of what, when should someone say something and it is saying things in the context of having a charge or saying things, not saying things, avoidance out of codependence and when is the right time to sort of say things. Uh, which I relate to as a question. So for me, it's like if I had a conflict with someone and there was any kind of emotional charge afterwards, uh, I would try and transcend the charge. Now, why would I transcend the charge to meaninglessness? Well, because if there's a charge, uh, that will affect the level of consciousness I'm vibrating at. So when I'm, um, let's say, I'm, uh, I'm feeling angry and I think the other person is wrong, and uh, I know that if I speak to them from that place, uh, it will come out in, in um, the way I speak and the words I choose. That's on one level, uh, and it will go badly, because when you, use, um, when you go to someone with the energy of you're wrong, and, and even I, I can make a persuasive argument that means I'm right, it's never going to work properly because when you go to another individual with that kind of energy uh, they're always um, uh, you might be able to intimidate them but it's not the right way and there'll be a reaction that they'll want to uh, resist that and usually there could be ramifications which make the situation worse so I go okay I'm feeling really really angry My, it's like I'm tuning into thoughts where they're wrong and I'm tuning into thoughts of just putting a persuasive argument to uh, show them and tell them that they're wrong. So that's not going to work because uh, if I go in with that energy, uh, that, that kind of energy will just bring, uh, when you go in to force a situation or from a place of fear or confrontation or the other person's wrong, it's always going to go badly on some, in some way. So my job then is to um, to transcend the feeling uh, and the, the, uh, how I see the situation will be a pure reflection of my level of consciousness. So am I, uh, am I vibrating with fear, with anger, uh, those are the ego levels, uh, then am I uh, vibrating at neutrality after I've done some spiritual work, some counselling beliefs, but, uh, uh, God is a love in which I forgive this person, I pray for me to see this person differently. Uh, I cancel my belief uh, in this situation. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. Whatever it is uh, that I'm using to just uh, delete it from consciousness and just let the feelings be there and disappear. I can observe the feelings and the thoughts. Until, um, and ideally, um, I think from a place of neutrality where you can get to a place where you could speak. It, you could, I mean, you could speak to them or you could not speak to them, it really doesn't matter. Uh, it's an okay place to speak to them as well. I mean, it's a relatively alright because there's nothing left there. Uh, if you can get, uh, if you get to a place, I mean, even more powerful than that is love, uh, which is uh, a lot of, uh, maybe a lot of spiritual work, but uh, love's very powerful. Um, and usually what will happen, I mean I've shared this, it's in my book actually, plug for my book, Bulletproof Peace, this thing where um, I had this story and I've heard many people in the group share this as well, it's quite a common thing in spiritual circles, where I was praying for someone I had conflict with in, within a 12 step group uh, and just praying for forgiveness and doing a lot of praying, it took a long time and then one day I woke up and I felt it had completely gone. Uh, the resentment and I felt like love for that person I was looking forward to going to this meeting and seeing them I just felt love in my heart it was absolutely a miracle it was like something came in in the night and just totally um, took it took it away uh, and uh, and replaced it with love and I went to the meeting and there was this thing of you know looking forward to going to the meeting because I was just so relieved it had completely gone and the person actually came up to me on that day and said uh, to me, Sabir, um, you've taught me a valuable spiritual lesson. I, I need to let you know I'm moving to another country. 
on that day when I went in. And it was like I didn't have to say anything or do anything. Uh, it's just like transcending it. And it seems to me obvious that, of course, there is no two. So if I do all the spiritual work and move my level of consciousness, I'm not just moving up my level of consciousness, I'm also affecting the consciousness of, of those I'm transcending. So it was doing that level of work for such a long period of time had a profound effect on me and a profound effect on that person. And it seemed to me in, in retrospect that it was like the lesson you know, that I was supposed to meet this person in, that, in this lifetime and had this huge confrontation had been, had been resolved, it had been completely forgiven and the lesson was done and so we could both move on our ways because that uh, exchange had uh, fulfilled its purpose uh, in this lifetime. So it was quite a miraculous thing. So um, who's, you know, like, is it codependence and avoidance? Well, at a certain level of consciousness, while that level of consciousness exists, say if I'm an individual um, uh, and I'm fearing confrontation, or I'm codependent, or I want to get validation, or whatever it is that's going on at that level of consciousness. Well, while those programs are going on within the individual, then of course that would be in operation. So if you delete those programs, then they no longer operate. Uh, when uh, when is it appropriate? Well, you see, the the exchange will happen at the level of consciousness one is at. So if one is in in the personality having codependent programs, avoidance programs, is it the right time, is it the wrong time, uh, that will operate at a certain level of consciousness. At another level of consciousness, it might be neutrality, at another level you're just operating through love and unconditional love, and at another level you're not an individual. There is no codependence, there is no personal program, there is no personal person. The, the whole story of the person, of the person uh, the, the, the whole idea of being a person has gone. So then what happens then is everything's happening spontaneously. There is no individual to make the decision, is it the right time, the wrong time. Usually what happens is the situation gets orchestrated without you being an individual. So it might be, I mean, who knows what would happen. Maybe you're walking down the stairs and they come up and something comes out of the mouth and there's no you there. And that comes out at that level of consciousness. So it depends on uh, the way I actually personally like to do it, because yeah, you know, when I'm when I'm a person, of course, I don't like conflict. I, I prefer to resolve things through the mystical uh, route. So I prefer uh, usually I'll when, when it's me and there's a confrontation, I'll just will just do the work to make it meaningless and then let go. And uh, uh, my experience is when I've made things meaningless, there's never been a time when the miraculous hasn't happened. You know, it just it just miraculously disappears and it gets resolved. Um, uh, sometimes the miraculous is that it's no longer a problem for me and I don't notice it in my life any longer, and it doesn't exist for me, and, and it never does exist. Or sometimes some exchange will happen. Sometimes quite something like I just shared in the story uh, with that individual was a big lesson, a big sort of uh, what do they call it assignment. Uh, Course in miracles time uh, that was that was completed I think you know it's like you passed through marks here that one's finished so those things get resolved through um, through tra transcendence that's the way I think do you always have to go the full way to transcendence well no you can go you, uh, sometimes it's more practical to go halfway like to a place where you try to and talk to them getting feedback from mentors or whatever of what to say can sometimes quicken the thing if you want to get rid of it. But uh, generally, um, the way I see it, with those type of things, I'd rather resolve it by rendering it meaningless, meaningless so that if there's any personality in me, that I dissolve that and then just let grace handle the situation. Uh, sometimes though, um, if I can't be bothered to do that level of spiritual work to make it meaningless, I'll get uh, spiritual counsel and just do that as a quick way so I don't have to do that level of work. So, um, you know, codependency, avoidance, uh, is it the right time? Well, timing is just what level of consciousness will I accept before I go in and communicate with the individual. But, um, uh, so that's, um, 
that's the thing. I mean, like, uh, I'll try and share from my experience. So it'd be like, I usually like to get to a place of at least neutrality before dealing with individuals, if possible. Uh, full transcendence ideal. Like some situations you don't have to, like with the accountant, you know, it's like, it's quite easy. I don't, have, I don't live with the accountant, so I can do a lot of spiritual work and just feel my levels of consciousness shift and the way I see it shift as I move up the levels of consciousness. I'm just deleting it, the stuff in me. For me, it's not so much to, to do with him. It's just to do with, you know, I'm perceiving a problem. Uh, and I see the problem as being me. I never see the problem as being the other person. Uh, so I just need to shift my level of consciousness and allow the, the mystical to occur. Um, the, uh, I think with um, some, some, uh, some situations, like you're stuck with a person living next door or whatever it is, I think you know, there can be um, bigger uh, assignments. Okay, hope that's helpful.